so yesterday we derived this that uh, growth of technology in the balanced growth path now there are few special cases which we want to talk about please write them alongside there are few special cases case 1 let lambda equals to 1 i equals to 0 and la is constant that is the labor force engaged in the production of research or research ideas that is constant and the productivity of researchers delta is constant right productivity of uh, researchers delta is constant and we know this that uh, a dot is equal to del lambda uh, delta l a to the power lambda e to the power phi well i can write this as just because lambda is 1 and this is e to the power 0 so basically which i am left out with is only delta into l a Mm -hmm. so delta is constant la is constant so at every period of time the junction is taking just the constant number of ideas right so the stock of ideas is constant because delta is constant la is constant this right the economy is generating constant number of ideas this each period Hmm. So, if you are generating the constant number of ideas each period, then a dot by a is going to fall over time, right? Uh, eventually, the growth rate of because what is a dot by a? That is the growth rate of uh, the ideas, right? Growth rate of the stock of ideas that is going to fall over time because a dot is not growing, and if that is not growing, so eventually that growth rate is going to fall. therefore the growth rate of stock of ideas e dot by e decreases over time and eventually approaching zero also the per capita growth rate of output that is also going to fall over time that is also not increasing because an economy 
is not operating at the sustainable growth rate without a research effort, right? Uh, I, mean, I won't say without a research effort, I mean with a constant research effort because the productivity of output is subject to diminishing returns. If we are not producing new ideas or if we are producing ideas just at the constant rate, eventually, maybe in a very long term, even the productivity of output is also going to fall. The, the, the rate of growth of output, that is also going to fall. <coughs> right? It is right. And... the growth rate of of per capita output also Also, over time, the economy does not operate a sustainable growth rate. even with a constant research effort, even with a constant research effort. So the point is that you are having a constant research effort, fair enough. But the problem is that over time, the growth rate in the ideas that is also going to fall if you're just having the constant research effort right uh, that a dot a dot by a will fall to zero over time uh, because what is what is happening is that with the constant research of effort stock of ideas is increasing so a is increasing over time but a dot is not increasing at the same rate and because of that a dot by a is falling okay in my economy, I will be able to produce more. One, of course, if when I'll use more inputs and two, with more research. If eventually the research effort growth rate is going to fall, then in the very long time, the per capita output growth rate that is also going to fall and eventually that is going to be operate, uh, that is also approaching towards zero. So even with a constant research effort, you cannot have the sustainable growth rate of output. That is one example. The another example is when you have uh, your uh, uh, case two, right? Uh, let us look at case two out here. Lambda is one. Phi is one. Ela is constant. And productivity And productivity of researchers delta is constant. Mm -hmm. So how do you write? E dot is equal to lambda, oh, sorry, delta L A to the power lambda e to the power phi. You write it like that. 
but lambda is 1 and phi is 1. So you have this. So you have a dot by a as delta L a. A dot by a as delta L a. So a dot by is, is the growth rate in the stock of ideas. So growth rate in stock of ideas is constant now. Delta is constant, L a is constant. So growth rate in the stock of ideas that is constant in each period, right? Uh, so please write. This suggests that the growth rate stock of ideas is constant. each period. So if the growth rate of the research is constant, then the growth rate of the output is also constant because that's uh, of the per capita output. That's y dot by y is equal to your a dot by a. So that is also constant. Uh, therefore, growth rate of per capita output is also constant. So at least it is growing maybe at the constant rate, but it is still growing, right? Per capita output is still growing. So even with a constant number of researchers, uh, you still have the con LA is constant the people or the labor force engaged in research that is constant. So even with a constant number of researchers, you still have a sustainable growth rate. And even with constant number of researchers the economy operates at a sustainable growth rate. Right? So these were the two special cases. So we'll take the discussion further in the next course. Thank you, Bhagavan.